What's up, YouTube? It's Kevin here, the Migraine Guy, back with another video in our series on potential medications your doctor may prescribe. Uh, today's medication is going to be uh, topiramate, uh, which is an anticonvulsant. It is also uh, the more generic version, the cheaper version, of uh, the brand name medication Topamax. Uh, so first, first things first, why might your doctor prescribe to you something that seizure sufferers would take uh, given that you're suffering from migraines. Well, the stereotypical symptom associated with seizures, right, is the convulsions, the spasming of extremities. Uh, now, your, your, your body doesn't just shake on its own, right? If you're having a seizure, it has to be initiated uh, almost always by your brain. And so your brain operates on electrical impulses. Those electrical impulses get carried to the muscles near extremities, and so the convulsing happens. Uh, so if you can interrupt, slow down, or stop the electrical activities in your brain, then you could slow down, stop, or inhibit the uh, convulsions that the rest of your body is going through. And that's just what a drug like uh, topiramate does. Uh, it prevents the absorption of charged particles like sodium ions in your brain, uh, and that prevents the neurons uh, uh, from carrying the electrical signal uh, down uh, each individual neuron, which then would get transmitted to other neurons. So by inhibiting that process, you reduce the frequency and intensity of the convulsions, perhaps entirely, uh, which is great for seizure sufferers. How does it help migraine sufferers? Well, the way it's been explained to me is that there are two varieties of migraines, two families. Uh, the first family are the uh, neurological migraines, the kind uh, that are relevant to a drug like topiramate, and the other are the vascular kind. Uh, so for the neurological kind of migraine, um, you see a lot of increased electrical activity uh, they found uh, when you get a migraine. Uh, they, they refer to it as electrical cascading. Um, and so that's not, you know, a fancy kind of dishwasher detergent like a cascade, right, a, a rippling effect. Uh, and so if you can slow down the amount of electrical activity in your brain when you're getting those migraines or before they're occurring, right, they're amping up, uh, if you can slow that down, then in theory, you'd be able to slow down, inhibit, maybe stop uh, the migraine from ever uh, taking full form. Uh, and so that's why your doctor may prescribe you a drug like this. Um, there are some side effects to be aware of when it comes to, to anticonvulsants. Uh, given that you're messing with brain chemistry, right, they're, they're basically the standard ones that you should be accustomed to now when it comes to migraine medication. Uh, increased drowsiness, increased dizziness, uh, difficulty focusing visually, uh, memory issues, uh, both short-term and maybe long-term. Uh, those are kind of the standard ones that you're probably accustomed to by now if you've tried any variety of mi migraine medications. Uh, they say that the uh, more serious symptoms to look at are the uh, kind of the symptoms that we just described, but taken to an extreme. So instead of kind of like some difficulty focusing visually, you just can't see. Or, you know, instead of being dizzy, you can't stand up. Uh, those, those kind of extremes. Um, but also, uh, interestingly, they found that uh, pregnant women almost certainly should not be on topiramate. Uh, it's just terrible for the fetus. Um, and so almost certainly, unless it's the only drug that's going to assist your, your migraine suffering or your seizure suffering, you're not going to be issued to a pyramid. Um, some of the studies from the FDA when they were uh, trying to figure out if uh, this would work for uh, migraine sufferers, they found that episodic migraine sufferers, which is characterized by 15 or less migraines in a month, uh, responded well. And chronic migraine sufferers who get 15 or more within a month uh, didn't respond any better than other medications. Uh, so it's not that this is worse than other medications if you get chronic migraines. It just if you've got another one that's working well, this probably isn't going to work any better. Uh, so just keep that in mind depending on how the medications you've tried so far, the medications you're on right now are affecting your migraines. Uh, to pyramate if your current migraine medication is working well, is apparently not going to work any better. Um, so that's uh, topiramate. I don't think there was much else I needed to cover about it. Um, I was on it for about three weeks and it didn't assist me any, I didn't get any bad side effects, but it just didn't work. Uh, so I, I changed medications. So this has been Kevin, the migraine guy. Check back for more videos soon. See ya.